яблоня и груша Поплыли туманы над рекой Выходила на берег Катюша На высокой набережной Hello friends, welcome to the next battle report here on Brothers in Dice channel. This is another fight in the series of Tale of Four Warlords. It's my Black Legion and today I'm fighting again communists looks like. Uh, Martin is here with his uh, Vostran Firstborn. So again we play uh, Vital Intelligence. This is the battlefield. We have uh, five objectives, one in the middle, then objective number two, objective number three, objective number four, and objective number five. The deployment was sparehead assault. Frontline. Frontline assault. Frontline assault. It's basically like Dawn of War with a pointy, uh, with a pointy middle. Okay, so let's go over the armies and uh, why don't you, Martin, start and tell us what did you bring and uh, how did you deploy? So, in battalion detachment I have one, two and three infantry squads. Uh, as heavy support I have a Wyvern with heavy bolter. Uh, I have Armored Sentinel with Hunter-Killer Missile and uh, Missile Launcher. I have uh, Company Commander with uh, Power Fist and Plasma Pistol. He also has Relic, Armor of Graf Toshenko. <laughs> so he is a Toughness 4 and uh, have uh, Evil Save. No, no, sorry, he has a Save characteristic of 2+. Plus. Uh, he is uh, defended by Ogrin Bodyguard. Uh, I have also Astropath in new, new uh, Night Shroud spell, so uh, Warp Charge of 6 and one unit becomes uh, minus one to hit. And uh, this is Tech Priest and I also have uh, Taurox with uh, Veteran Squad. Ah. Those are inside the tower rocks. Yes. Okay. And my second detachment is Supreme Command detachment, and I have uh, Tank Commander Punisher, Tank Commander Executioner, and Company Commander with uh, Power Fist. He has also relic, uh, has uh, Kuros Aquila for command points, and uh, Company Commander from first detachment is my Warlord. Uh, he has a uh, Warlord's trade, uh, Grand Strategist. So basically one free reroll and on five up I have a refund for my command points. Okay, so how many command points do you have? Uh, I have now eight command points. Alright. Oh, because I uh, use one to buy second relic. Okay, so the Black Legion is again the Soul Forged pack, a single battalion and uh, I brought again my Warlord, who is uh, Vex Machinator Arch Lord Discordant on the Hellstalker. He has a Bale Flamer and he also uses the Soul Forged Pack um, Warlord trait, giving plus two to, um, to movement to all demon engines which are six inches next to him. The other HQ is uh, the Master of Possessions. Uh, he knows two spells. The first one is uh, Scorched Earth, which is uh, uh, which gives the bonus uh, to Invul Safe to demon engines. And the second one is Sacrifice, which allows me to heal my demon engines. Then for the troops, I have one squad of uh, um, Chaos Marines, the other squad of Chaos Marines, and there on my left flank I have a squad of 13 
uh, cultists. Then for the fast attack, I have the Venom Crawler. For heavy support, I have uh, Defiler. And uh, in the reserve, I have three obliterators. And that is about it. I deployed uh, my demon engines in the center. Again, I want to use the same tactics to push the hardcore armored uh, demon engines through the center uh, of the board and uh, destroy uh, Martin's castle there. Okay, that's about it. I should have the first turn. That's why I have uh, deployed uh, aggressively like this. But uh, Martin has a chance to seize the initiative. And if he does, I will be in a lot of trouble. So what can you do? Oh, no seize. All right, we will be right back after Black Legion movement phase, turn one. Okay, it is Black Legion, turn one after the movement phase. Uh, I have uh, advanced my warlord he advanced three so all together with the bones from the from the soul forged pack he had a movement of 17 so he shot up the battlefield up to there the other hq my demon kin advanced six inches he's there and uh, no one uh, no one else advanced so let's uh, go directly to the psychic phase at first I will be casting uh, Cursed Earth, I need a 7, that's enough. Do you have something to deny? Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Your Astropath is going to deny. No! I would like to comment with this. Okay. Is that six? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And now I will roll for my uh, common uh, for my warlord trade. Oh uh, no, I am not gaining this common point back. I am down to seven. Okay. Uh, so next I will do smite. It passed. You do not have anything else to do. You? you don't. Oh. Okay, so D3 damage, 3 damage, 3 of your uh, guardsmen are dead. Now, the shooting phase. The unit in the back uh, will shoot uh, the 3 bolters. Everything will shoot into this unit. Uh. Guardsmen. I will be using a stratagem called Take Cover for one CP and they are now plus one to their save. Okay. And if I get it back, no, I don't. All right, so three bolters, uh, two hits, one wound. Um, that's safe. It is, yes. Now the auto cannon, two hits. Two wounds, AP minus one, so two are dead. I will continue shooting here. So I have uh, a plasma gun there. So the plasma will also shoot at the, at the guardsman. It's not a hit. All right. Okay, the um, defiler is shooting everything at uh, that guardsman squad, and I'm using the demon forge, so I will be re-rolling uh, all hit rolls and wound rolls. Now, if I take your command point. Okay. No. All right. So the auto cannon, and I I will be uh, so uh, it is a heavy weapon, and I moved, but I have plus one from Lord Discordant. Uh, it's three hits and re-rolling this one. No, wounding you on twos. And it is AP minus 
One. So three, five ups. No. Three are dead. Damage one. Damage one. So one is dead. Second is dead. And the weapon team takes a wound. Okay, now the battle cannon. How many shots? Six shots. Rolling. Okay. Five hits. And this many kills. AP? It's AP minus uh, three, I think. Let me check. It's a battle cannon. No, it's AP minus two. Sorry. So, six ups. No, they are dead. And that's. First strike! And more importantly, it's a free range for my Lord Discordant. Uh, so the Lord Discordant is shooting uh, the Bale Flamer at uh, the Punisher Tank Commander. D6 auto hits. Three. Wounding you on two wounds. AP. Minus two, two damage. Five ups. New no. for damage. Then we will do the excruciator cannon from uh, the Venom Crawler. Uh, it's uh, two D three shots, so three five shots would be hitting you on force, but uh, plus one for uh, my Lord. So actually hitting you on freeze. Very nice. It is strength eight. So I'm wounding you on um, threes, right? It's uh, toughness seven. Eight. Eight, so four. Two wounds. AP minus two. D3 damage. Wow! The comrades are working with you today. Okay. Last uh, shooty thing, the uh, heavy stuber from here will be shooting at your guardsman. Two hits, look at that. And two wounds. One save. Okay, one guardsman dead. Okay, so I will be spending a command point for infernal engines to allow my uh, Lord Discordant to charge even after he advanced and he will be charging the Taurox. Only Taurox, yes? Yes. And I need uh, seven? Eight? Eight. Eight. Okay. That's not enough. Uh, but I will be spending uh, another command point bringing me to four to re-roll that two. Not enough. And now came the Overwatch. I will be paying one command point for a stratagem called Vengeance for KDR. Uh, I am not gaining it back. So now I am... You can roll for two command points that I have spent. Oh, yeah. For charge. Good. I am now down to five command points. And I am gaining one back. So okay, you cannot gain any, any, any more yes. this turn. This and round. Stratagem is doing a reroll failed hit and wound rolls for one of my units that fire Overwatch. So now for auto cannon shots on sixes, rerolling. Two hits. Toughness six or seven? Six. So wounding on freeze, re-rolling, no need to. Two AP minus one, two damage. AP minus one, so I will be saving on three plus. Oh. Uh, okay, one damage went through. Uh, two damage. So two uh, damage piece. Oh, okay, okay. And now Stormwater. 
topic. Okay, so I'm at 10 wounds. And uh, that is about it. Your turn. All right, it is uh, Imperial Guard uh, movement phase finished. Turn one. So the things that have moved, the executioner have uh, scooched back a little to have a line of sight on uh, my Lord Discordant. The Tower Ox has stand still. Um, this guy have moved, right? Yes. This guy and also the uh, Psyker, Jerry, Jerry the Psyker. Now uh, the guardsmen from the Tower Ox uh, have, uh, disembarked. have disembarked and uh, oh, they no are line. forming a new, uh, new line of meat, of meat shield to protect the tanks and uh, nothing else moved. Am I correct? Uh, only these two guardsmen a okay. little bit forward. But all right then. So we are going to the psychic phase. No, we are going to the end of movement phase. Okay. And my tech priest Angusir is going to heal or repair Punisher for D3 wounds. He is gaining one back. Okay. So back to nine. Now straight into psychic phase. I am going to cast a Night Shroud on my Punisher Commander. So warp charge of six. No. Okay. Um, that's uh, the end of the psychic phase, right? Yes. So, We're going are we going to shoot? We will start at the right flank. Mm -hmm. uh, my company commander is uh, granting order uh, to, to reroll wound rolls of one mm -hmm. for that uh, infantry squad. So they are firing at cultists. Okay. You lost one there, so that will be one one uh, fewer last gun shot. Yes. So seven last guns, hitting on fours, and wounding on fours, rerolling ones. Two saves. To saves, I'm in the cover, so saving on five pass. One guards, uh, one cultist is dead. Okay, so three heavy waters, two hits, and two wounds, AP minus one. And a flame range. Okay, six up. Out of range. And the second. Oh, you yes. did, did you want to? Okay, so two more cultists are dead. Next, my. Taurox is going to shoot everything into this cord. Okay. He is too still, so heavy weapons have no penalties, so on force. Toughness 6. And priest wound. AP? AP minus 1. Okay, so saving on 3 up. Two damage. Oh no. Uh, okay. And for the bolters. One hit, one wound. From the heavy bolter, so no, again. From storm bolter. Storm so two up. Saved. Now I will use a command point uh, called uh round Pride or Firstborn Pride. It's uh, basically plus one to hydros. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, tank commander is going to issue order to himself to reroll it once to hit. Okay, so we now, are hitting on threes. Yes, and rerolling once. Rerolling once. I this is the plasma ex execution. I okay. am going to fire every plasma into this cohort. Mm -hmm. uh, hunter killer missile into uh, venom crawler and heavy bolter into cultists on the hill. Okay. Oh, can, you, can, can you see the copy? You can, okay. I'm gaining command point back on five. Yes. No, you already gained command point in this battle round. Oh, you are all right. So I am very sorry for cheating. You you will be forgiven. So uh, heavy water on freeze. Rerolling once. Two hits. 
No wounds. Hunter killer missile into venom crawler. Hit. I think wound. Yeah, wound, yes, and uh, it's oh. minus two, right? I think yes. So it's five up. Anyways, no d6 damage, right? Uh, let's check it. So damage for hunter killer missile d6. Six. Wow. Okay. I'm at four wounds left. I'm going to supercharge every plasma on this tank. So number of shots for plasma sponsons heavy 2d3. So four shots hitting on freeze, re-rolling once. Everything hits. And wounding on freeze. Oh, only two. I am going to use my one per game ogre array reroll. So there are three hits, uh, three wounds. As I minus three, two damage a piece. And that was into discolored. Discolored AP minus three. Three. So saving on five up demon save. Two damage. Yes, a piece. And one more die, please. Um. Six damage. So, big plasma, uh, four shots, hitting on twos, reloading once, all hits, wounding on threes, three more saves, please. Ay, ay, ay. This is uh, all of the shots you have left. Uh, no, right? oh I have a grinding advance, so I can fire it twice. Uh, okay, I saved one. Okay. Uh, the discord is that I think there is no point in trying to save him. First strike. First strike, and I'm rolling if he blows up. He does not. He was a roll. And Valor. that is not only first strike, that is also uh, Slay the Warlord for you. That is unfortunate. I really hope to get him uh, into, into fight. Now my... Uh... Sentinel will fire, hunter killer missile into venom crawler and um, missile launcher with frag profile into a second group of marines. Mm -hmm. So I will start with frag, heavy d6, 2, hitting on force and wounding on force, 1 wound. On the marines? Yes, AP? 0. Okay. I'm good. And hunter killer into venom crawler. That's miss. Now, this squad of uh, Carsmen will fire last cannon, plasma gun, and maybe plasma pistol if it's range to Venom Crawler, and uh, last guns into Marines. The uh, first line of Marines, right? Yes. Okay. They are all in range. But these two can't see them, so they will fire Venom Crawler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minus two, so five. And they have order uh, rerolling uh, once to hit. So into Marines. So two hits. One wound. Good. So I have a uh, plasma pistol in range, so I will supercharge it, hitting on force. Nothing. And plasma gun, rapid firing, hitting on uh, force, supercharging. Okay. Ah, oh, he's double, double dead. No, because he has order to reroll once. Okay. So oh. one, one hit and uh, three to wounds. No. And last cannon. Hit. Uh, mm -hmm. I am going to use command points to reload this. Nothing. So I am down to five command points. And uh, two last guns into Venom Crawler. One hit. Nothing. 
I will fire now Punisher tank. Uh, he has order to reroll once to hit. Uh, his last cannon is uh, going to shoot at Venom Crawler and Heavy Bolters 2 and uh, Gatling cannon is going to fire at Defiler. I will start with Heavy Bolters, hitting on freeze, rerolling once, 4 hits, 5 to wound, 1 wound. Hit minus one. The last cannon. Hit. I think. And now 20 shots from Gatling. Okay, the Punisher was shooting twice using the grinding advance rule into my defiler. He managed to do 12 wounds. This is no AP, so I'm saving on 3 plus. Ah! Two. Oh, there, there is one more one. Okay, two wounds. Now hunter killer missile from the uh, Punisher into uh, Defiler, hitting on fours, wounding six. Okay, uh, so AP minus two. five plus <sighs> for the dark gods. Yes. Now these veterans will all fire into Venom Crawler. Mm -hmm. They have order to rerolling once to hit. So I will start with plasma gun. Hit twice and plasma pistol. Also hits strength eight, so wounding on freeze. Wow, wow. Okay, five up. No. Two damage. Oh boy! Heavy water. Two hits. Nothing. And now came uh, last guns. Sixes. So I need at least two three ups. Okay, so he's on one last wound left. Yep. Anything else? Uh, I have my Wyvern here. Mm -hmm. So Wyvern is uh, shooting Heavy Bolter into Venom Crawler and uh, Mortar into Cultists. I will start with uh, Heavy Bolter hitting on fours. Wow, wounding on fives, nothing. And my mortars, D6 each, hits or shots. Hitting on fours. And wounding on freeze, rerolling. Five wounds on the cultists. AP, AP dash. Yes. Okay, so the Vyvern did uh, five damage to the cultist, saving on five plus because I'm in the cover. I saved one, four more are dead. Okay. Okay, it's end of the shooting phase for the guard, and now uh, the brave guardsmen are going to charge. They shout Kurra and Fx Bionets! <laughs> Fx Bionets! And they are charging my Venom Crawler. They need 8 inches, but first I will do an Overwatch. So 2 uh, D3, uh, D3 shots, that's 5. Hitting you on 6s? Nope. Okay, sir. They need 8. 6 and 5 is 11, Ooh. so they are way in came back at the fight phase. Okay, so the brave guardsmen have uh, managed to charge the Venom Crawler and uh, unfortunately the Demonkin is not in the uh, heroic intervention range. So, so 11 uh, hits on... 9. 
attacks on fours. Why nine? Why not eleven? Because uh, Sergeant has a power sword. Oh, he will so be okay, okay. Nine bayonets on fours. That's pretty good. Now wounding on sixes. One. There's a six. Saving on three up. Oh, <laughs> for a minute I saw it there. Okay. Now Sergeant has two attack. On fours. No. Nope. Okay, time for revenge. On my last profile I have two attacks regular on four up. I think that weapon skill doesn't change. Killing you on that. So one guardsman dead. What's armor spend ratio? Minus a lot. Okay, so one guardsman dead from the eviscerator claws. And now the soul flayer tendrils. I can make two more attacks. That's one hit. And that's another dead guardsman. Maybe. Minus two. Okay, uh, before we count the objectives, we need to roll for leadership. So here, you lost two guardsmen. They are good to go. They are good. And I have lost seven cultists here. So, five plus uh, seven is 12. I have leadership of six. That would be six, six dead. Am I counting that correctly? Okay, so uh, that would be the unit wiped. So I'm actually going to use another command point to try to save them. And it was a mistake. The guardsmen are gone. Guardsmen. The, the cultists. Send people. Okay, so after the first round, you uh, have four points. I, I have two. Uh, two for this one because uh, this was the special objective. I have one for the one in the middle. Uh, that's three plus uh, first strike. So that's four. And you? I have controlling two objectives and I slay the warlord and uh, first striking. Yeah. So, so four. Four, four. Four, four. Let's see what's a uh, special objective on turn two. Five. Five. That's this one, <laughs> where, where the cultists were. Okay, it's Black Legion, turn two, after the movement phase. So, first uh, the Defiler scooched up his eight inches to be in the char charge range of uh, those two vehicles. Um, the Baton Crawler stayed in combat, the Demonkin pushed up a little bit. Uh, the Marines moved up this squad, the other squad stayed on objective number three. And, important development, the obliterators have dropped here to uh, be in range of objective five and also okay, they can shoot on, two of them can shoot on the uh, executioner tank. Um, okay. So, let's first go to the Psychic phase. I'm going to use the Scorched Earth again to improve my invulnerable save. Oh, that's not enough. Okay. Do you want to see the reroll? No, I don't. Then I will... Oh, one thing I forgot to do. Uh, the Spider have healed one wound, so he will be on two. And uh, now I'm going to cast uh, Sacrifice, which I felt also. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, that is my failed uh, shooting phase, uh, psychic phase. Let's go to the shooting. Let's start with uh, the Defiler, and he will be shooting. You will be again using the Demon Forge, which brings me to two command points left. Rolling for Aquila. No. Oh. And he's shooting everything at uh, the Bullgrin. Sentinel. No, so I cannot shoot at Bullgrin because he's not the closest, right? Okay, so Sentinel 
shooting at Sentinel. The auto cannon. That's four hits. Wounding you on threes, probably. Rerolling those to ones. Okay, that's three wounds from the auto cannon AP minus AP minus one. And two damage? No, it's one damage. Oh, strength seven, yes? Yes. Sentinel has six wounds. So four up save. Okay, so it's down to three. Yes. Now uh, D6 shots from uh, the battle cannon or three. Um, four is not a hit because I have moved. That is a hit. Wounding you on threes. We're rolling those two. Okay, three wounds from the battle cannon, AP, AP minus, minus two. two. Five up, one. Damage. D3. Oh. It's big three. The Sentinel is down. Does he blow up? No, oh. he doesn't. <laughs> no. Okay, let's shoot a bolt pistol from the demon kin into your... Squad, hit, and wound. Save. No. Barricades. Oh, okay. This squad will shoot everything into your infantry squad. So, um, Stuber, uh, I mean autocannon. Two hits, two wounds, AP minus one, so. Five ups, one dead. One dead. And then the three bolters. Uh, bolter discipline, so you oh, rapid fire now. That is correct. So that's uh, one wound so far. And let me shoot uh, three more. Nice. Now uh, three more wounds. So four wounds. Thanks for that. Tip, by the way. Okay, four are dead. These guys are not in range of anything. Oh, plasma is. So plasma will shoot. Plasma will shoot uh, the executioner. Um, shall I overcharge it? Executioner? Yes. Uh, oh, sorry, the Punisher. That's what I meant. I am overcharging. It's a hit. It's a wound. It's not a safe. Two damage. Okay, and now for the main course. The Obliterators. These two guys will be shooting the Executioner. This guy will shoot the Guardsman. So, first uh, the uh, strength, strength is 6 plus 3 is 9, uh, AP, AP 1, and damage, damage is 2. Okay, so let's first do the, one. the guy in the guard, into the guardsman. This many, it's... Killing you. Oh, not killing you. You will have you have five plus, right? Yes. So uh, four wounds. Six is I think four are dead. Very nice. And now twelve shots at the plasma executioner. Um, couple of twos. Oh, too bad I didn't have, I, I do not have an extra command point for that one. Okay, so that's two, four, six wounds. Eight minus one, so four, one. Up. Six. 
Six. Or four up. Oh. That's five times two, it's ten wounds. I will use command point. Okay. Roll. So. Okay. Eight damage and uh, Warlord trade. Are gaining command point back. So no okay. more command point. Gaining in this battle round. Okay, how many do you have left? Uh, I have five command point left and uh, four wounds on this deck. Okay, so let me spend my last two command points for endless cacophony. They have Mark of Slanesh, of course, as you have seen in the previous report. And let's repeat exactly the same thing. I need to roll the thing again. So, strength. It's nine again. AP is two again. Oh, no, it's better. It's two. And uh, damage is three. Okay, so it's even better than in the previous round. Let's first go to the guardsman. Two, four, six. Three hits. That's three dead guardsmen. Okay. And now for the tank. Ooh, a lot of twos. Three to wound. Is there one more? Two, four, six wounds at AP minus two. So six five ups. I need to do all but one. No, he is very close there. I think it's time for my once per game warlord trade reroll. Oh, oh. <laughs> so okay. On <laughs> five up, he leaves. No, no, he is dead. Does he blow up? Oh. No, he does not. So that was the shooting phase. Now the charge phase. Um, the defiler will be charging your Taurox. Not Punisher, yes, or only Taurox? Only Taurox. I will be using uh, Vengeance for Kadia again. Mm -hmm. So, Stormwater. Three hits. Wow. This <laughs> should be out of count. Wounding on uh, five. five. My god. Two wounds, I three zero. I did lose a wound. Okay. He has, he has 13 left. Out of pounds. Only one. And on fours, it won't. Four. That was auto cannon, AP minus one. one. So four up. No, two more, so that's three damage. Three more. So that's nine, he's at nine. No, he's at 11. Okay, so charging the Tau Dogs. Seven, that should be enough. Uh, another charge, uh, the Demon Kin will charge the Guardsman. <sighs> Can go like this. And uh, the, these guys, Three. That's fail, I think. Um, not necessarily. Yeah, I uh, will be within one inch, and then I can pile in. So I can move three inches with this guy, three inches with this guy, three inches like this. Oh, oh this one can actually go in. Yeah, uh, coherency. Okay, so they have to go like this. And to resolve this, let's actually start with this fight and I will pile in three more inches. I will get everyone into combat. They have uh, chain swords, so each of them has uh, two attacks and we will resolve the Sergeant with an chain X separately. So this will be six attacks from the regular guys and one from the plasma guy. Okay, this is a three, so this many hits, wounding you on threes. And that's four wounds so far. Five ups, three are dead. 
Okay, now the chain X from the champion to attacks. Death of the False Emperor, no? Oh, right, Death of the False Emperor. Another. So that's two wounds at AP minus one. Six ups. No, two more are dead. Okay, now let's go to oh. the. Now let's go to the Demon King pile in three inches. Okay, so the Master of Possessions, three attacks. <laughs> One hit. No wound! Oh, he's better with his spell. Well, he is an even better <laughs> with his spells. Okay. That's for joining Chaos. Okay, and the uh, main course of this fight phase is uh, the Defiler who charges the Tower Ox. I will and be interrupting. Yes. Okay, so you for two command points. You so are I interrupting to... for two command points, and basically you want to prevent me from tying up uh, your Lamaras. your yes. Your so punishment. now I am hoping to survive this yes. <laughs> round of fight. Yeah. So if I kill it, then uh, I will be able to uh, consolidate into the Lehman Ras. But uh, we'll see how that goes. So the Tower Ox goes first. How many command points do you have, by the way? I what? am down to two. After this one? Yes. Okay. So Tower Ox has three attacks. Weapon skill of six up. Hmm. That's great. Okay, so we can go to the Defiler. Toughness six, ten wounds. Hitting you on fours. Two hits. Wounding you on twos because I am strength 16. Oh my god. Yeah, one uh, one wound, AP minus three, D6 damage. Minus three? Yes. Six up. Oh, so close. D6 damage. It's four. I am down to six. Yes. Now for the uh, Scorch, third. I have Three extra attacks at strength uh, at strength eleven. Uh, AP minus two, three damage. Okay, four ups. One. So I will not be killing. Okay, so five up. No. No. He's down to one. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. down to three. Sorry. Oh, three damage. Yes. Okay. All right, so now the Venom Crawler will do his, um, I think he has two attacks left. Uh, one hit, one killed the Guardsman. And um, so the Venom Crawler also has Soul Flayer Tendrils, which I can use in the uh, combat, but I do not have to, and I will not use uh, the Tendrils. And uh, one more rule, which we have overlooked last time. Each time I kill uh, a model after the fight phase, I can restore one lost wound. So I kill the guardsman, I will uh, restore one. At and the end it, of the fight phase. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, in, the, in the previous, I, I, ah, I yeah. also should have. So it, now you can uh, retaliate, I think, with the two guardsmen. Are you, are you going to the demo, uh, Venom Crawler? No, I am going to Hawk okay. Marines. Okay. So Bayonet hits. No. And uh, Power Sword two hits. Nothing. So. Okay, so I will go to four wounds. Now into Moral Phase. Yes. They lost, I think, seven guys. So they are. Running away. Oh shoot! I wanted them to stay there. Ah, okay. So this squad lost five, I think. Five plus five is ten. Three so more. Three more. That is the end of the Black Legion turn, and we will be back after the 
Imperial Guard movement phase. Okay, it's Imperial Guard uh, turn two after the movement phase. We forgot to roll for uh, the Guardsman unit that was here. Uh, they uh, have fled at the end of uh, the previous battle round. The uh, Psyker there have moved a couple of inches and he advanced to get out of uh, the uh, Deny the Witch range from my Demonkin. And uh, nothing else moved except for the Bulgrim, right? And uh, company commanders, uh, company commander moved a few inches, so he stayed within six of last cannon and uh, within close proximity to uh, defiler. Okay, very good. So, and also tech priest moved up. Okay, so you are going to heal your tank? Yes, I am going to heal Taurox. So D three, Taurox is healed by Ooh, three. Nice. So back to six. Now I am going to smite the fighter, looking for 5 up with 6. Oh! And I am uh, outside your denying bubble. Yes. So D3. 3. My god! Where did you learn to roll like that? Soviet Union, you know. Okay, so the defiler is on 8. We are 8 five. live left. So, the shooting phase, we will start with uh, that uh, squad. Last, last cannon there. Uh, Who are uh, they shooting? He is shooting at Venom Crawler okay. and he is uh, rerolling one to hit. Mm. Think. No. No. Now Who's next? I will pay one CP for uh, Firstborn Bride on uh, Tank Commander. Okay, you have one left. I have one, one left, yes. So he is now plus one to hit, mm -hmm. and he, he should order to reroll one to hit. Okay. Now he is uh, firing heavy bolters into close uh, squad of mm -hmm. Marines, and the Gatling into uh, Marines are in the back. Okay. Last cannon is going to fire at Venom Crawler, and uh, Stormwater is going to first squad of Marines. Mm -hmm. So I am starting with Stormwater on twos. All hits. Two wounds. That was the this squad yes. of Marines. Three up. They love it. What's next? Heavy bolters. All hits. Four wounds, AP minus one. Okay, four ups. Oh no, two. Two of them fell. Let's remove these two guys. Last cannon. Hit. Wound. That was on the Venom Crawler. Right. Okay, so five up demon save. No! D6. Uh, I am using my last command point to okay, reroll this. Okay, please roll one. <laughs> okay, Venom Crawler is on two live left, thanks to his healing abilities. And the Gatling Cannon uh, we will roll off the camera. So, the Punisher was shooting with his 30 range, thanks to the uh, special doctrine that uh, the Vosrans have. And he did 27 wounds on this squad of Chaos Marines. So I have 20 dice here. One dead, two dead, three dead, four. Okay. <laughs> so I need to roll seven more. Can I save these guys? No, I cannot. Okay, so the squad is wiped. Wow. So, company commander issued order to himself to reroll one to hits, and now he is going to supercharge his plasma pistol into Venom Crawler. So, good luck, company commander. <laughs> go 
Go into reload it. One! Three! That's it! Oh, okay. You will be wounding on, on threes. No! So cool. And you are out of command points, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so the Wyvern has shot everything into my Venom Crawler and he managed to do four wounds, which I'm saving on three plus. Oh! Venom Crawler dies. Does he blow up? He does not. That's an unfortunate loss for the Black Legion. Charge phase. Blue Green is going to declare uh, Defiler and Master of Possession as target for charge. Okay. So do your Overwatch, please. Yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, that's no. probably not enough. Charge distance. Four inches is good. Now, company commander is going to charge only the defiler. He is good. Tech priest. Good. Fight phase. Tech priest is going to start with uh, one attack from servo arm. Hitting on fives, nothing. One attack from Omnisian X, hitting on four up, nothing. So we will go into Blue Green. Blue Green has four attack base and one attack in the turn when he charged. So now he is looking at five attacks. Hitting on force, all but one, and uh, strength seven, so wounding on force. Four plus. Oh, nothing. And company commander, he has three attacks with his power fist, is hitting on force. Two hits, ranked six, so fives, two, and AP minus three. What was that? Power Fist from Company Commander. Wow. So, five up demon save. Okay, one went through. D3. Oh my god. I'm down to five. Now, Taurox. D3 attacks, or he is at 6, he has 3 attacks, hitting on 6s, he is strength, I think, 6, wounding on 5s, definitely not that. You can attack okay. back. Okay, so the Defiler is fighting back, he is on his second uh, tier profile, so he only has 3 attacks with his main weapon, the Claws, and the Claws will go to the Taurox and uh, the Defiler Scorch will go to your company commander. So, the, the Claws, 4 up, 2 hits, strength 16, so wounding you on that, AP, minus 3, 6 up, now 2d6 damage, and he's dead. Exactly. Does he blow up? No. He does not. Okay, so the Taurox is dead. Now the Scorch into your Warlord. Two hits. Strength. Uh, strength is eight, I think. But anyway, I'm wounding you on two, so. AP. AP minus, minus two. two. So four up. He's good. Four up? Yes, his safe characteristic is 2 up because he has a relic armor of Vostroyan Big Commander. Ah, guardsman in Terminator armor. Okay. Yeah, so that, is, uh, that was the fight phase and we can do the summary at the end of the turn. I am holding just a single objective. But it's worth... Uh, it's worth 2 points. And you are holding 1. Yes. 
and there was nothing else. So we are six to my five. Yes, six to five. And we will be back after Black Legion movement phase. Uh, roll, please, for oh, the, double. The objective for the next turn is five. Ah. Uh, it's again that one. That should be illegal. Okay, so it's uh, third turn, Black Legion, after the movement phase. The obliterators stayed where they are to keep holding objective number five. Unfortunately, their shooting power will be mostly lost for this turn. And here I have very few things left. So these guys just moved up to be in the charge range of those guardsmen there. The demonkin have advanced five inches to be there and uh, the defiler has stayed in the combat. So we will go to the psychic phase and we will start with the smite. Uh, I'm smiting your uh, bullgrin six. I will try to deny it. Okay. Oh, I am looking at seven. No, D3 damage for a big three. Down to three. Does he have six life? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Now I will be casting the sacrifice. So I will be bestowing a mortal wound on your bullgreen and healing my uh, defiler for D3. And that's enough. I need Is just four. Five or five? It's four. Four? So. One mortal wound and uh, D3, just one, so six. And we forgot to heal uh, the Defiler uh, by one using his Demon Engine uh, ability. So he's at seven, so he's on the upper profile again. Now, uh, the shooting phase, Plasma Gun and Plasma Pistol will overcharge and they will shoot the uh, tank. So, the plasma. Two hits. That's snow wounds. It's toughness eight, right? Yes. Okay, and uh, plasma pistol. Uh, no hit, but he doesn't die. And the bolt pistol will, uh, uh, will also shoot at the tank. Yes, it's a wound. No, it's not. All pistol is strength four. four. Oh, okay, okay. The last thing to shoot uh, is uh, this obliterator who is just in range for uh, the astropath there. So, what is his strength? It's uh, eight. What is uh, the AP is minus two and damage is one. So, six shots. Okay, four hits, wounding you on twos. So that's four wounds. He is dead. He's dead. Now for the charging, uh, the demonkin is charging the bulgin. Okay, so go. Am I charging the bulgin? I will actually charge both the bulgin and the company commander. Okay. Okay. Yes, that's what I will do. Oh, that uh, I actually had a chance there to tie up the. Yeah, but that will not help me. Okay, just go here. I did no damage to this guy, right? Okay, so it will be like that, and uh, the marines will charge your last cannon. Okay, so last gun, one hit, nothing, no. and last cannon, hit. Oh my god! Wound, six, six up. up. No. This is damage for five. <sighs> Boy. I think I will actually kill the plasma. Okay, so what is my charge range? Oh no, that is that was not enough, right? 
Oh, that's just enough. That's just enough. Okay, the fight phase. Uh, these guys will be attacking the lonely last cannon there. We will start with a chainsword, two attacks, two wounds, AP dash. One save, one, one save. Wound. Okay, and now the chain axe. One hit, one wound, AP minus one. Is it, is it a save? No. Nope. Oh, okay. So they are dead. I could consolidate, but actually I would rather stay here in cover. So, let's continue here. I will pile in three inches into the commander, actually, like this. Okay, three attacks. Two hits. Oops! Two death to the false emperor. So, three hits. Wounding you on threes because I have plus two strength. Uh, wounding you on twos, yes. No. I have well, six. You are strength six and I have yes. toughness four. Toughness four? Yes. Oh, well, oh the, the relic. Two. Okay, so one wound. AP minus one? Minus one. So Damage d3. Three up. Oh no, it's one. D3 damage for two damage. It's down to two. Now I'm choosing to fight with the defiler. And uh, <clears throat> he will do uh, the big weapon into the bulgreen and uh, the scorch into the commander. So, yes. Bullion. Four ups. Nothing. The Scorch. One, two hits. And Death to the False Amp. No, 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 no. Two hits. And that's two wounds. That's one save. And uh, in, in minus two. Okay. So. Uh, that's three damage. Slay the warlord. The warlord is down with his nasty relic. Okay, and you can now retaliate. Okay, so Bulgrim, four attacks now, second round of combat, two hits, strength seven, so fours, one. And the AP minus one, I think. So far up? No. What's the damage? Damage is two flat. Two flat, okay. So I'm at five. Tech priest. Several arm on five. Nothing. And only see on X on four. Hit. Strength five, so fives. And that's not a wound. Okay. Your turn. So we are in the Imperial Guard turn three. There's a quick summary. The only thing that has moved was this tank to be within three inches of this objective. Everything else stayed like it is. So uh, you do not have any more. Um, Come on, boys. You do not have any more psychers, so there will be no psychic phase. Uh, this guy, I think he's too far, right, to heal the tank? Uh, yes, he is. Okay, so we are going to the shooting phase. Who will be the first to shoot? Uh, tech Priest will shoot his last pistol into Defiler. Five up and six up. No. Now... Uh, Fiverr will shoot everything at this little squad of oh, Marines. Okay, I think we, we can we can do that off camera. Okay, so Heavy Balter has taken down one of the Chaos Marines and uh, the, all of the mortars did only a single wound. And I'm in cover, so I'm saving on 2+. Plus. <laughs> oh, okay, good. All right, what is next? The Punisher, Liman Ras, he will shoot everything at this single Marine, except uh, Punisher Gatling Cannon, which will shoot at 
uh, your uh, master of possession. Okay. So we will do it off camera. Okay, let's do it off camera. <laughs> nice. So the last marine there died to the last cannon and now the Punisher uh, Gatling did 17 wounds to my Master of Possessions. He's saving on 3 plus. One damage, one damage, one damage. Oh, he's just dead, just dead. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, my love. Five phase. Uh, tech priest will start with one attack from Omnisian X, four up, and one attack from Servo Arm, five up. Oh, strength times two, so it's now strength eight. So we are looking for freeze. No. Okay, so now the defiler. No, now the. Oh, yes. Now the defiler. I will do uh, the claws into the um, bullgreen. bullgreen and uh, the rest, uh, the scorch into uh, the tech priest. So, to the bullgreen, four up. One. That is a wound. AP minus three. No. D six damage. Ah! <laughs> the Baldrin lives on one life. Now the Scourge into the Tech Priest. One hit. One wound. AP minus two. So five up. Okay, I did absolutely nothing. So now Bull Green will fight. Four attacks. Uh, force one. It minus one. So four up. Oh no. damage. Oh boy. Okay, so that is uh, the end of the round. I'm uh, scoring two points for the special objective there. And you slay my warlord. And I sir. and I have slain the warlord. So, so it's nine points. Yes, six plus three is nine, and you are on six points. You got one. Yes, there. So okay. I have six. Now we are looking to double objective on the four. One. One. It's the one in the middle. Okay. Okay. So this is the fourth round. Very few things on the table. Uh, I have fallen back with my defiler to get within the range of the um, of the special objective, which is worth two points. Um, I'm not, the, the defiler will probably not survive that. He has healed for wounds, but we'll see. The obliterators have advanced mighty six inches, but that was not enough to get them to the range of the objective, but they are now in the range of uh, the bull green there. So, no psychic phase, uh, let's just go to the shooting and this will be very quick. The two obliterators are in range for the bullgreen, strength is 8, AP is 2 and damage is 3. Okay, so... And 3, because you... Oh, because I advanced, yes. because I advanced, uh, I'm no, no longer hitting on threes. Uh, so, two to one? Threes. Threes. So it is top of five. Oh. Okay, so you have four ones there, AP minus two. So, four, four ups. Oh, he is dead. Okay, and that's, that's it for my round. So this is end of uh, Astra Militarum turn 4. Uh, tech Priest advanced 5 inches, so he is now controlling objective number 2. My second company commander is hiding. Uh, my Liman Ras has uh, moved back, but only a uh, few inches, so he will still gain bonuses from the grinding advance. 
and the wyvern stood still. So now into shooting phase. Uh, tank commander will fire everything into defiler. So last cannon on three is not a hit. Uh, heavy bolters rerolling once as usual, no hit. Four wounding on fives, two wounds at minus one. Oh boy! So he's now down to two. Yes. Okay. Now storm water. Storm water will be not in rapid fire range, I think. No, he is just one inch away. So one hit, one wound. It's good. good. And uh, we. Uh, to get the count of camera. Okay, so the Punisher did 11 wounds to uh, my Defiler, so there is very slight chance to save this. Oh, he's dead. Does he blow up? He does not. And I'm. Ah. Uh, I'm officially left with only a single unit on the battlefield. Now Wyvern will shoot at them. So heavy bolter. One hit. Not a wound. Now mortars. Wow. Only nine shots. Force. Would be gone fives. Rerolling. Two. AP? Nothing. Two ups? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this guy in the back will be. I don't know, the guy in the middle will be on the three ones. Uh, okay. So that's end of my uh, f uh, shooting phase, that's end of my uh, turn and that's end of battle round. Four. Four. Uh, I, control, I am controlling objective number two with my tech priest and uh, Black Legion aren't controlling any objective. Okay, so it's Black Legion 9, Imperial Guard. Seven. Seven. Uh, please roll the objective for number five, for okay. round number five. That's four. four. That is oh, all. that is that one. <laughs> okay, so the uh, this is the round five. The obliterators again have advanced mighty six inches, so they have moved ten up to here. They are now two of them are in. Well, actually, all of them are in range of both that tank and uh, the Punisher and uh, your tech priest. There is nothing to cast. So it will be just shooting and um, let me roll for their strength. It's seven, uh, AP is two and damage is two. Okay, one of them will shoot at the tech priest and the other two will be shooting uh, the punisher. So, the one at the Tech Priest. How many wounds does he have? He has four wounds and three up safe with six up in one another. Okay. Hitting you on fours because I have advanced. Okay. Pretty statistical. Yes. Wounding you on twos. Uh, no. You are strength 7, so freeze. And you are toughness 3? 4, because he is tech priest. Oh my god, okay. So, 2. 5 ups. He is down to 2. I don't remember <laughs> what I just read. 4 wounds? I think so. For the Punisher. This many hits. Wounding you on five. Five. 
Just two. Five ups. Nothing, so four damage. Okay, that was quite unlucky. You can go. So, uh, my movement phase was pretty quick. Uh, I moved my tech priest, so he is now controlling objective and is within 3 inches of my tank commander, so we can heal, heal it. And uh, my uh, company commander... Oh, the, the guy who was hidden the whole, the whole game! Sneaky, sneaky commander! <laughs> uh, he is now controlling uh, objective number 4, which is worth uh, double diamond of points. His time has come, finally. Okay. So, so now we tech priest will repair Lemon Ras. Okay. For two. Uh, he's on five. Okay, so now to my shooting phase. I guess you will be shooting everything at obliterators. Let me think about it. Okay, we will start with Wyvern. Okay, so the Wyvern and all of the small weapons uh, except the Punisher cannon. Uh, have uh, stripped off two wounds of uh, the middle obliterator, so he's on one left. And now I got, uh, is it 10 wounds? From the uh, Punisher cannon, which I'm saving on 2+. Plus. There are two ones there, so this guy is dead. And uh, yeah, this guy will be on one wound. No, sorry, on three wounds. Now, the last cannon from the Punisher. Shot of the mesh. Four up. No. You do not have any rerolls for that, no. do you? Okay, so that is the end uh, of your turn and it is the battle round five. So let's count the points. I have controlling objective number two and objective number four, yes. which is uh, yes, double so objective. Plus three. So I am now at 10 points mm -hmm. and Black Vision are controlling objective number one. So Black Vision is two on 10 points. So now it's draw. It's 10 10 and it is battle round five. So we are rolling if the game continues. I had the first turn, so I will roll on one or two. The game ends. It doesn't end. We continue to the round six. Okay, so it's round six. Uh, I have moved, by B, but, but we have forgot to roll for the uh, critical objective. So you roll. Number four. It's that one again. Okay, so I have already moved. Uh, I have uh, two last obliterators alive and I will be shooting. So first let's determine their profile. So strength will be nine. Uh, the uh, AP is three and damage is free they are on their best profile they can get so this guy will shoot the commander uh, on the on your right flank and this guy will shoot the punisher so let's first get rid of that guy in the back Four hits. Oh my god! <laughs> you have two wounds there, 80 minus 3. So, uh, five up. So he is alive with one wound. Does he have four wounds? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. He is commander for reasons, you know. Um, quite unlucky with the rolls in this game. Uh, rolling for the Punisher. That is for wounds AP minus three. So six is one six. So he is dead. Does he explode? Yes. No. No. Uh, so only moment uh, the tech priest is hiding now behind these vents and straight to my shooting phase. Uh, now heavy bolter is firing into obliterator. Force and force one wound. Okay, love it. Mortar. Oh, oh.
Three. Three wounds? Yes. Two ups. Of course. No charges. So. The end of the turn? Yes. Okay. So. I have one point for this objective. You have three points because that was a double objective. So I'm at 11, you are at 13. So, uh, I, so I roll, am rolling. Yes, so battle. one, two, three, and four, the game ends, and the Astra Militarum wins. Oh, it's oh. Crazy, so. it is the Thank end of the game. It. Thank you for the game. It was a nail biter till, till the bitter end. Uh, the guard did fight, so I didn't manage to get uh, rid of the communists on uh, this dusty planet. It's a sad day for all of the uh, citizens of Vigilus. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, we will be back with some final thoughts about the game. Okay, so I really like this game. Yeah, it what was do you think? fun. It was fun. It was... Uh, uh, in the big, from the beginning. In the beginning it, it uh, looked like the Black Legion has an upper hand, but when I failed that charge... Oh, uh, that was that game was, changing. That was, that was game changing. I managed to clear up uh, the line which you made uh, from the guardsman, but I didn't roll uh, 8 inches charge even with the reroll. That was probably for me the... Uh, Worst uh, um, point in the game? Yes, if you manage to uh, successfully charge and then fight, I think I will be overwhelmed in one or maybe two turns and yeah. there will be a game end. Yeah, and I also one thing, props to you, that uh, uh, interruption with the tower rocks to tie up my uh, defiler, that's like, that was another game changing event of this game because next turn I, otherwise, I would have piled in into the uh, into your Punisher, and um, I would still have uh, the next turn. Uh, the Marines in the back of the battlefield would look quite differently. Yeah, perhaps for me, uh, one last thing which I want to mention was the Obliterators. So, in the last game, I made them the Man of the Match. And today it's either them or the Defiler, but uh, they were basically, they, they did a strategic move by dropping on the objective which was worth double points, so they did gain four, well, four or five points in this game. Yes, uh, because they were uh, worth double two times. Yeah, but that also meant that they were not able to engage uh, on this yes, uh, but, big, biggest fight on but later they uh, chew through my uh, units so yeah but if i if, if i drop them here uh, i would be able to uh, support uh, do, do some fire support for uh, the guides i think uh, you will destroy you, you destroy the punisher mm -hmm. so that would be game changing too but maybe uh, but uh, all of my characters were in combat with Defiler, so there would be no harm for them. Yeah. Okay, who's uh, the man uh, of the match for you? I think... I uh, During the match, I think the Punisher Commander will be man of the match, but later it turns out man of the match <laughs> will be Company commander. The cunning guy, cunning hiding, guy hiding behind the rock the whole game. Uh, my warlord has straight grand strategist, but this man is a grand strategist. Okay. He, he wins the match. Okay, cool. So that is uh, the second game of the four warlords for you. And thank you very much for watching. We will be back next time. Uh, uh, you still need to fight Oli Stau. Yeah. And we still need to see Dom's um, gene stealer cult, gene stealer cult uh, on the board. So, thank you and bye bye.